can start with a thought that's been there for a long time. Or it can be just an idea that's, that you know can work if you just work on it. For one of my novels, Sivikram Lal, I, I, I had that for decades. Just the thought that I'm writing about the Mao Mao period. And then one day I thought this is it and I wrote. So that always has been with you for some time. That's the, the idea, yeah. But then there are others where you have an idea that you know will work and that of course comes with experience. Yeah. And then you just start and do it. I suppose finishing might be a problem. But yeah. I think what, what you write is what's inside you. Sometimes, but when you're writing stories, it's what's inside you and what you bring out. Uh, it looks simple, but it is not. Uh, because writing, when you tell stories uh, orally or informally, that's one thing. But at some point, at least in the traditional sense, the writing stories or writing fiction or writing poetry is an art form, which means that uh, you have to work. There is a sense of aesthetic that you have. There's a sense of beauty that you have and uh, you work towards it. Uh, how you get that sense, I suppose, is by reading works uh, that you admire or you learn to admire. And uh, It is, in a sense, a world uh, art form, uh, but it is something to work towards. I mean, just because you have a story doesn't mean it's, uh, you told it well or someone else will read it, you know. I mean, uh, there are so many stories and most of them uh, sound the same. But it's how you tell it, how, how you make it special. That someone, you know, that, that, that uh, it becomes irresistible uh, to people uh, in the world, you know. I mean, I, I've written uh, novels which I thought nobody would understand, you know, outside of my own little group of people. And then I find uh, that people from Traditions I would never imagine would identify with, identify with. So it, it's how you tell the story and uh, the work that you do. And sometimes I, I can tell you that each of my manuscripts has at least ten versions. You know, so I write and then rewrite and then rewrite and, you know, and it takes a long time. So one should not forget that it is an art form, that it is not just a blog, you know, which is fine. That's one way of telling stories. But. Uh, a story in the formal sense is, is uh, and, uh, it takes work and it has shape and it has form and uh, it has a uh, linguistic specialness that you discover for yourself. When you become mature as a writer, then uh, you find that even if you don't put your name to the work, that your readers will know this, this is X, Y, but this is how he or she writes. But, but that, that is a process that every writer comes to, slowly. Writing is also a compulsion. It's not a hobby. It is not... It can become a career if you are successful, but that's luck. But when you begin, it is not a career. It is something you simply have to do. And uh, that's it. So there's no preparation. Now when you're writing a novel, a long novel, a long novel which has a historical context, then you have to do some research and so on. But the main idea you know, of, the, of the novel, the long novel, is already there. Uh, you don't have to... I mean, you ask the question, you don't have to train for it. <laughs> Build your muscles or something. It's just, uh, it's inside you. It wants to come out and it will come out. You know. something you have a control over. Yeah. I mean, so you don't think about it. Of course, you become conscious that you don't somehow tell the same, use the same paragraph again. You know? yeah. But, uh, you know, your whole moral outlook, you know, your, 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 the way you define your people, your characters, uh, what's good and what's bad, you know, however hard you try to sound different, I think we will always be more or less constant. You know, people do different things, but I think that your moral vision 
doesn't change too much. You, know. you may experiment, but now that we are moving away from the beginning, I think when you're beginning, you just write and you, you keep writing and there's no other advice you can give to a young writer except to, to stop talking and start writing. You know. <laughs>
but in terms of the writing style, I'm more efficient. It's smoother, it's tighter, it's, uh, I don't waste words. Uh, and since I know I've said some things before, then I, I somehow say it in less words. If I want to describe Uhur Street again, then I do it in a very short, quick way. You know. It's part of how you write. It's a momentum that keeps you going. And uh, yeah, I mean, that it, it's your, becomes your voice. You cannot put it in artificially. It just it grows with you. years or something but that because I was also working and I was also writing my stories but after I finished the Ganesai which took a lot out of me then I this was the time in my life when I was taking my son my young first child for babysitting to an apartment building in Toronto and then I thought it would be a good idea to set a novel in the apartment building so that became a fun novel I enjoyed writing that. <laughs> there was no angst, nothing. It's just about fun writing. But generally, the beginning of a novel is when I say, okay, this is it. You make a commitment. You cannot go back. I can't afford to say, okay, it didn't work. So I make that commitment. I start writing and then I know I will finish it. That takes three years from that time, roughly. Maybe a little 